There's a lot of buzz in healthcare industry about portals. What is a portal? Well, by definition, a portal is a, a way into something or a window or a view. And in terms of information technology, a portal is a view or a window into a large collection of data. Well, how long have portals been around? And why are we hearing so much about them now? Well, I think there's good reason for that. We first started seeing portals in the 1990s when the internet was really taken off. Things like Yahoo.com. Uh, the healthcare industry really followed suit a little bit after that. Late 1990s, early 2000s, things were starting to take off. But I think now there's really a perfect storm of technology taking place that makes portals uh, so available. Um, broadband technology, um, we've got a pervasiveness of access. Even cellular broadband is uh, really growing these days. You've got very large capacity databases out there that can handle large volumes of data. And then you've got sophisticated transaction technology that can handle everything you throw at that database so that it can take care of it in a timely manner and in a consistent manner. Well, give me a couple examples of healthcare portals in use today. Sure. One example might be um, a patient comes in, has a lab, and later that afternoon, the physician's not even in the office. They might use a smartphone to dial into the portal and get access to those lab results that were just drawn that day. That same patient might go home and access the patient portal to look at those same lab results, both of them looking at the same collection of data, but both of them using a portal but a different view into the same data. Well, what are the advantages of having a web portal? Well, I really think there's three main advantages um, to a web portal. Number one is mobility. You know, the doctor with the smartphone, he's no longer tethered to a, a PC having to look at it in the hospital. He can move about, he can leave the office, he's got access. Wherever he has internet connectivity, he has access to that portal and then he's got access to that data. Um, another advantage is portability. Uh, not portability as I can walk around with it, but more portability is once I have access to that data, I can move it around. Um, a, a great example is a patient. They log into the patient portal. They can share that information with something like an internet-based PHR like Google Health or Microsoft Health Ball. So the data becomes portable. And then the third advantage is interoperability. Users are no longer tethered to just one originating system they have the option of feeding that database with a number of systems and then the portal being the face or the view into all of that data. So they can aggregate and share that data and then they only have one place to go to see all of that data and that's the portal. So you've got mobility, portability and interoperability is really the key advantages to having a web portal these days. 